the going down people of the world. Redbeard, couch, beer review. For the beer of this morning, hmm. got a can of Cool Papa Bell IPA from the Left Field Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario, coming in at 6.7% ABV. Apparently, the name has to do with a player. I got it up on Untapped here. Uh, James Thomas Cool Papa Bell. I guess James Thomas Bell was his name, but they called him Cool Papa. And he was a Hall of Famer, and he was in the American Negro League. I had no idea that black people had their own baseball league prior to it being mixed. Like, who's the... Reggie Jackson? Something like the first black person to ever play in the MLB... I didn't know they had like their own full league aside from the MLB until they merged kind of thing. I knew about the whole league of our own, the women thing when the war was going on and stuff, but yeah, having a beer, learning a thing. Let's crack this open and see what we have got. This is the latest beer that was purchased at the uh, Culture Club slash Opera Bakery downtown here in North Bay. They've got a fancy beer fridge with things that you don't find in the LCBO. I may have made some suggestions. I want to be able to get my hands on some Third Moon stuff, like whenever I want. That'd be cool. Oh. That is the juiciest IPA I have smelt in a while. Citrus bomb has gone off in this glass. Five, five alive all day long. Oh, that smells really good. Let's give her a shot. Had that bullshit thing from Collective Arts. And that pretty unimpressive thing from Bellwoods recently. This is nice. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. So juicy. Like melony, citrusy. Just what I want from an IPA, basically. Ballpark pairings. Barbecue brisket burnt ends. Shrimp queso nachos. Where are you going to the ballpark and having biscuit brisket burnt ends and shrimp queso nachos as your options? That's insane. It feels like... like Kind of, I work at the battalion, the, the arena here in town during the battalion game. You've got your hot dogs, you got your pizza, uh, fries and poutine and stuff, chicken fingers. But I think they've got like the nacho chips with just the cheese dip kind of thing that you can get wherever. Popcorn. God damn popcorn. Freaking. Swear to God, sometimes during the games, people just stand up and take their popcorn and ah! just everywhere. Water, malted barley, wheat, oats, spelt, hops, yeast. The crap is spelt. I'm confused right now. I've never seen spelt as an ingredient. I don't think... There's a, I have no idea what that's supposed to represent there. There's a, uh, focus. There it goes. Obviously a black guy whistling or something. And there's like a fight going on. I don't know. Apparently this James Thomas Cool Papa Bell was the fastest man to ever play pro ball. I'm not sure how that was determined. Doesn't say. Uh, El Dorado, 
Equinaut, Nelson Salve, and Citra Hops are in here. It's neat. We have a date on here somewhere too, I believe. Yep. January 24th of this year. It's currently March 17th of this year. So that's pretty fresh. And now I'm curious about Spelt. Spelt is wheat. Uh, spelt, Triticum spelta, also known as Dinka wheat or Hald wheat, is a species of wheat that has been cultivated since approximately 5000 BC. Sure. What's special about spelt? Spelt, with its mild, nutty flavor, is a popular alternative to wheat. It also provides several essential nutrients such as iron, magnesium, and zinc. Consuming spelt and other whole grains may improve heart health, aid digestion, reduce the risk of diabetes, and help people achieve or maintain a healthy weight. <laughs> healthy beer. Cool. It's interesting that it says wheat as well as spelt. So I guess they didn't excuse exclusively use spelt as the wheat in the beer. I don't know. Like, why, why not tell me the other kind of wheat that you used? Hmm? Hmm? Um, I was just on tap. Didn't read the rating. 3.85 out of 5 with 401 ratings overall. I feel like it's a pretty new beer. It being left field. If you want one, it won't be cheap. And if you buy it from a second-hand retailer like I did... You're going to pay even more. I'm a genius. Um, overall, though, I'm going to give that a 9. That's really, really tasty. One of the tastier IPAs I've had in a while. Um, and if you can get your hands on one, I would recommend that you give it a try. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you, anybody who watched. I might do another one after this. We'll see. Ah. Don't work until 4.30 tomorrow. 4.30 p.m. So, you know, not going to bed yet. But regardless, subscribe, thumbs up, all that fun crap. And um, maybe see you later. Peace out.